Given that I have this feeling that, that there are only a couple of days to go until my new custom hairpiece rectangles arrive, notice how I said that there are instead of there is a couple of days to go. Damn it. There is a lot. There is a couple. In fact, I think that's correct English. Fuck, I was just about to say like some moron, but the moron would have been correct and I would have been incorrect. That doesn't make me the moron, by the way. No, 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 no. The moron's still the moron, even though they're right sometimes. But they're right accidentally, you see? <laughs> there is a few, there is a lot. There is six, no, there are six. <sighs> Don't ask me to figure out why those words are singular. I think I want this stuff, glue, to be a spray. I know it has potential massive problems getting everywhere. Okay, so yeah, I thought I'd just show you this. I just snipped away some of this at the top. It was all getting crunched up here and folded on, in on itself. This is part of the previous uh, trial piece, the sample that they sent me. It's not a sample, I got free. I paid for four partials. When I say partials, I mean four 30 by 15 centimeter rec... Fuck! Four 30 by 15 centimeter rectangles. I think that's six inches by 12. Do the maths yourself. Maths, mathematics, not math. Anyway. I ordered them in June. Medium density, number four color, medium dark brown. It's now February. And I received this one. This partial that I'm wearing now is one of the three that I was able to cut from the 13 by 50, 13, 30 by 15 centimeter rectangle. I've been drinking, shut the fuck up. Um, and then the second thing they sent me was a, a Swiss lace air, which is basically just a Swiss lace hairpiece from Lord Hair. They call it an air. Because I, I think it's actually, there was a time when they didn't sell Swiss lace stock pieces. So I think just the standard Swiss lace piece from Lord Hair is called the air, because basically it's more air than hair. I, I don't really approve of Swiss lace anymore because of the low density. Obviously it's realistic on day one, and after that you get that dirty line of glue along the front edge, which you do with all lace pieces. Uh, anyway, so within the next couple of days, hopefully, hopefully, that order from June, this, the last part of it, will finally arrive. And they gave me an option of going, well, we don't actually have any staff who can make the poly for you, but we could do it with 0 0.05 millimeters. That doesn't sound very thick, right? It's not half a millimeter. A millimeter is fairly big, right? Imagine if it was a millimeter thick. That's like a stack of paper, right? It's, it's, it's big. So gratefully, it's 0 0.05. It sounds negligible compared to 0 0.03. They both sound extremely thin. I know 0 0.03 is very thin. 0 0.05 would be barely bigger. But the way they said it, it made me think, ooh, you don't really have any staff who were able to make one, let alone four. This one that I'm wearing was made during that kind of time, but before, bit after, but before the warning was given. This one was sent as a sample. And then after that, there was a shortage of staff warning. And then I said, oh, no, no, no. You, you guys still know how to make the French lace ones, so just give me two of those. So I'm waiting on two rectangles that are French lace. So for the foreseeable future, that'll give me six hair partials, six partials. By the way, this is how much glue is remaining. 
I spilt a lot of it trying to fill up those stupid syringes, which don't work. But the reason I'm making this video is because I had this realization that this is like cordial. I don't know if everyone in every country understands what cordial is. It seems like when I travel the world, most people don't know what cordial is. Have you heard of Ribena? That's cordial, Ribena. It's black currant cordial. It's like orange tang you'd have in America, but that's powder. Cordial is a liquid form of tang. In France, I think they only have something called grenadine. It only really comes in, what I saw, one flavor. In Australia, cordial is a big deal. There's something called cotties. Cotties, C-O-T-T-E-E apostrophe S, from Professor Cotty or whatever, who invented that company. Basically just fruit that's been uh, dehydrated to the point of just being a kind of syrup. Yeah, syrup. I guess in most countries, syrup is the word for cordial. But in Australia, we just say cordial. Everyone in Australia understands the word cordial, not meaning to behave nicely, but rather a syrup that you mix with water to get your drink. And uh, it's the same as what you get in a post mix at a bar when they're adding soda water to the post mix cordial or syrup, give you that drink. So the reason I'm mentioning syrup, cordial, grenadine, tang, is because this is so thick. I get the feeling I could add something to it, turn it into a spray. Don't know how I do it. This isn't as viscous as brand new. It's much runny. No, sorry, it's more bit it's more viscous than brand new. Viscous meaning thicker rather than less viscous, which is runnier. Yeah, water is less viscous than that. This is more viscous. But this is more viscous in the same way that cordial is more viscous than Coca-Cola. So if I could spray that on. The problem is if I start buying glue spray, let me, uh, let me tell you why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about this. Because I, I, I found, because when I re-glued this, I just re-glued it over old glue the other day, right? Because I took the whole thing off, because it's a piece of shit hair piece and I don't like wearing it. And I just glued over the other glue. This, this is a less viscous, and this is old, this has been opened. Right, you can see how runny that is compared to this. We have a race in runniness. It's not because of the weight of the extra glue, it's just simply more watery. This one, Dublin Green, that's what we tape holder hold. I had to take the label off because I couldn't see shit. <clears throat> that one doesn't have as many problems in terms of squishy glue underneath because it's not as thick, but it still holds just as well. In fact, it probably holds better because I have this feeling that if you have really thick layers of glue, it's just sort of war warbling around, right? The hairpiece, plastic, base, over the head. That's the scalp, that's the base. I assume you just knew, I just assumed you knew that. Anyway, communicating to the lowest common denominator. Um, Warbling around on top with this fucking thick layer of two layers in this case of glue I started picking away at it and going fuck this is too thick. I need something thinner And I just thought oh, sh sh spray spray glue and then I remembered I have actually bought spray glue for a car Before I can't remember what it was for. Yeah, probably upholstery or something Basically if you have foam and you want to put a seat cover over that foam you spray it with spray glue and you stick the upholstery onto that. Now I've already tried using cyanoacrylate, which is super glue. It uh, flew through the air like bricks don't. No, it was shit, man.
I wonder if car glue, upholstery glue, spray glue would be effective. Given that nearly every hair glue does not really work, it's all shit, all of it. I give this two out of 10. I, if I think this one's better, this would have to have a higher score. But I just feel like this is a watered down version of this, which makes it thinner and therefore less wobbly and therefore better. So I'd give this two and give this 2.5. But that's a high score. That's almost a pass. That's 50 out of 100. I'll give it a five, I'll give it a 2.25. So I don't let it pass. I can't let it pass. Every other glue is below two. But if I could put something on that's thin but still sticks and if it lifts I can just press it back down. Then uh, all I would have to worry about then is cancer. I probably shouldn't be experimenting with industrial glues on my scalp. Stop it. I can hear you all saying, go on, do it. Because <laughs> I don't know how to convert this into a spray glue. But if you guys know of any spray glues that you think would be safe for human skin, please tell me. Now I'm going to put this back on when it dries, but just to show you that I don't have to wait for it to dry and because I don't care about this hair piece and because it looks so shit, I probably don't even want to go out in public and Valentine's Day finished two hours and four minutes ago. So it's not like I have to go and impress some chick. This is, I didn't fucking see any girls at all today in the last 24 hours. I did go for a walk though. I just came back from a walk. I walked about five or six k's all right that's a big walk i walked a long way i went for a stagger really look at that bit bent over there that's fucked oh because the glue's holding it in because the glue's stuck to the hair all right i'm not even gonna wait for 15 minutes this is what happens if you stick it down before the 15 minutes are up glue here and there what i got in there okay so if you're ever wanting to run out the door without having to wait for it to dry, you can. I can feel that it's wet and it's gonna take probably 10 minutes before it actually fully somehow emerges out with evaporation. That it'll stay on there. I'm not even actually sure that that's not a bad idea to always do that except for the squeezing of the glue out through any sort of bits around the edges. But as you can see, there have been no squished out glue bits. Because if it's wet, it could go into the pores and then it's already in the base pores. It goes into the hair pores. I'm talking about microscopically, of course. I don't want to have to spell everything out to you. I don't know how it works anyway. So you've got microscopic pores on the scalp, you've got microscopic pores on the base. The glue's going oozing in and locking in somehow, however glue works, into both of them. And then it's curing as it dries into those positions. Whereas if I just waited for it to go tacky on the base, then put it down, it's not really gonna penetrate as deeply into that. But then in the whole in the end of the at the end of the day, it's just gonna all warm up and melt to an extent. Isn't it? So you'd be getting that benefit for no reason whatsoever. Because this glue doesn't lock, it stays kind of tacky and then melts with body heat. So there could be absolutely no benefit to doing that whatsoever. In fact, I can almost promise you that there is no benefit. You might as well wait for the sake of keeping things nice and clean. I probably shouldn't have put that 
brush covering glue through my hair. I just really hope that the fucking last two hair pieces will arrive. They will be medium dark brown color number four. Uh, they will be five inches long in terms of the hair length. They'll be 15 by 30 centimeters in terms of rectangularity. I will cut out three strips. I just coined that phrase, basically, if that ever is said in the history of the world or in the future of the world ever again, I'm the first person I know who said it. Rectangularity. I might just compose a book called The Rectangularity of the Cosmos. Because people think that just sounds scientific. That guy knows what he's talking about. Where did you come up with this amazing theory? Well, you see, I was sticking hair to my head. Yes, just like Newton. Some sort of... Actually, Newton wore a wig, didn't he? I don't think he grew gigantic fucking grey hair at the age of 26, like in all the pictures. Was it? He opened a little canister and just... That one. That was a fucking thing. Just be grateful we're living in present day and not back in the fucking ugly days of grey weeks. What was with that shit? Hey baby, you looking for a good time? Sunglasses. Wig. Mole spot. I want to get back to drinking, but I wish there was a new computer game for me to play. Hmm. At any rate, this is about spray glue, and I don't know how to do it. If the glue appeared in this bottle, for example, alcohol, that's crap in your eyeballs. That's smarts. No, it doesn't actually. I missed. Water. I think that would be a thick glue, but I don't want to have to press the button over and over and over. I'd rather pump it up or it comes with some hydrofluorocarbons, pressurized glue. Just been eating a bit of corn in it. This color is a bit too light for my natural hair. My natural hair is probably dark brown now, but it has, like when I was growing up as a kid, it was bright red. I get the feeling it's getting darker and darker. One day it'll just be black, but as it tries to go black, I'll turn gray and then it'll just be all over, right? Because when I was a baby, when I was born, I had thick black hair and then went bright red and now it's gone brown. Probably dark brown, but the thing is, I look at black, jet black hair, and I think that's not even close. There's got to be like 20 shades of brown in between this and black. But this is color number four, medium dark brown. According to the color chart, dark brown is number three. So it goes black, a little bit less black, and then dark brown. But then when I look at the sunlight, because right now it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to be the wrong color. But then in bright sunlight, I'm embarrassed of all the times I was ever seen in bright sunlight now because it looks like a fucking orange strip with a brown rest of my head. I was talking to people like, yeah, 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 so what have you been up to? And they're just going, oh, nothing. I mean, your hair, I mean, Shit, what happened? Oh, well, it's just a partial. What's partial? Nothing. How good is that cake? Like, yeah, well, you stay away from the cake, they're thinking. Fatty. That's why I went for the walk. I'm too fucking fat. Anyway. Hairspray. Hair glue spray. Does it exist? Obviously, it doesn't, doesn't exist. Otherwise, I'd have like 15 cans just lined up ready to do some more. I'd be careful. I'd use the back of my hand and then wash the back of my hand afterwards. 
for in the case of Polly, here's something I just added to my shopping list, baking paper. Why? Because I'm thinking tape. What is tape? Tape for the hair, right? People use it on the back of their hair. Hair pieces when they wear a full topper, because they can get this bit right, right? They can do this part, and then they go flip, who cares? Because <laughs> it's got tape on it and it'll stick somewhere back there. They're not aiming, it's just fucking guess. Yeah, it feels about bald there when I'm touching. How do you even shave back there? How do you accurately fucking shave back there? You can't bend your eyes at the mirror. You'd have to have a second mirror and just be doing that, I guess. You're holding your arm, you're tired, shaking your arm with a fucking mirror, trying to see the reflection in the back here. At least have a stand. <sighs> like I say, you get the fucking camera thing and just beam it like a rear vision mirror so you can do that and glue it and all the other shit. Everything's gonna be a bit awkward, but it'll be easier than whatever else you're doing, surely. <sighs> so tape. So the reason I mentioned tape is because I thought, I'll glue the back of the poly, paste fucking walk tape ultra all, all over it, then put baking paper on, and then when I go to wear it, it'll be like peeling the paper, baking paper off, which isn't gonna stick to the glue, hopefully. It'll be like the stuff, the white, the paper you peel off uh, tape. And then maybe I didn't cut it so that it breaks off nicely in the middle, and then I can line up the exact middle there, place the left half down, peel that bit off, just place that down, lift the other bit, peel that paper off, then place that half down, done. Whereas plastic, I don't know, I guess that plastic seems a little bit more porous than the wax covered baking paper. At least it doesn't rip. Potentially I could just use paper, uh, plastic of some sort. But then the people who do the tape don't use it, so why aren't they using the plastic? Maybe because paper can be thinner without stretching when you're trying to pull it off. I don't know, I don't know. I assume their paper is just wax covered paper. At any rate, what is your dream system? I mean, if you... There are two things. One is taking it out of the box. Do you wish it was just covered in glue and just like the back of tape and just peeled it and placed it on your head? Is that what you wish for? If you don't wish for it, what would you choose instead? And then when you go to reapply it, would you rather just, like, I mean, imagine you've got your hairpiece shaped like a leaf, like mine, or shaped like that, if that's the shape of your stencil. So the back of your hairpiece, right? Imagine that you've got a, a wig made out of foam, if you've got one of those big ones, and just bend it, right? So it's inside out, and it, or you're looking at the base now. If you could somehow stop any glue from getting onto those hairs that are protruding from the edges, if you could just put some exact stencil size casing around that, so you can just, with reckless abandon, just fucking spray this shit, right? Just fucking... Fucking get glue on you motherfucker, alright? And just fucking spray that shit until it was just covered in glue. By the way, this is just like me, my attempt to clean off some corn butter. It wasn't butter, it was olive spread with mixed herbs and salt and pepper. But I spluttered that shit all over myself. I've just been watching Michael Moore discussing the impeachment acquittal. Congratulations to all you Trump fans. He's never been convicted. All right, so, uh, yeah. If you could spray that shit and get it covered so that you didn't have to paint, paste on glue with a fucking brush back here and do all this shit, wouldn't you choose that? I don't know how you would do a front hairline touch up with spray. It would, that would be too messy. But in general, when you're putting it on your head, don't you just wish it was just like peel off the back plastic and just all the paper and just put it on your head? I'm repeating myself. What do you think? Write down in the comments down there.